Yeah, 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 Niji yeah, Sanji yeah, yeah. Etheria includes these members of Niji Sanji. And the crazy update here is that those members of Etheria were scheduled to appear at Ofkai Expo. However, Ofkai Expo has announced that they are canceling that appearance, Ooh. saying an important announcement. After thoughtful consideration, Ofkai Expo believes that recent events have resulted in an environment where Etheria appearing would not be conductive to a positive convention experience for any color inks livers or our attendees. What? As such, those members will not be appearing. Badge refunds may be requested until April 30th at that link. So yeah, it's pretty big news. And they claim that the decision was actually made two weeks ago, as this Redditor points out, more close to the timing of the Alira video that went on, let alone all the backlash that happened since then. I mean, if the two-week claim is true. One of the most infamous Niji bootlickers had made this tweet, which is also being discussed on Reddit. It reads, I love the, that this guy has the title most infamous, infamous <laughs> Niji Sanji bootlicker. That is an impressive title to get. Wow. They must be an absolute loser. Anyways, I personally will not be supporting Ofkai or any of their future cons because I don't trust an environment where they can't... By the way, I say loser because I bet they were harassing Dokimo. That's why, that's why I mostly assume. Because all of them did that. Their talent safety and those who wait two weeks to announce that for fans who now have to scramble. The OP saying, didn't Niji Sanji directly affect all their talent safety by throwing them under the bus as well as cancel a Niji Sanji AR live last second as well? And people in the comments talking... I, I don't understand how people can work like this. Uh, I feel like when you are in this industry, you kind of work months in advance for your schedule. And I feel like an abrupt like change in schedule like this can kind of ruins a lot of things and a lot of opportunities you could do. Because they could probably do something completely different during this time schedule and just suddenly be like, nah, boom, no, nope, no, nope, it's gone two weeks before. It kind of ruins the whole time of plan ideas and everything we're doing there because this is a big thing. Going to an event is a massive thing, right? So how, how do you how do you how do you work like this? How do you how do you get anywhere with <laughs> whenever you have higher ups managing thing like so incompetent like this? Because they have no experience, man. They're clueless. CEO went straight out of the university and made a company. No experience. But I get that. I get he has no experience before and jumped in, but he has jumped in, right? He's done this now for a bit. He's not like He's done this for a couple of years. So I feel like he sort of should have some form of ideas and he should have like people that know what the fuck is going on since he has the money to hire those people. He has not learned on the job. I guess he's just like, he had a smart idea and he's just a dumbass. But I'd have to stick up to his ass thinking that, that oh, he's all right. Oh yeah, he think, yeah, he got a... Yeah, I think he has this big ego. He probably has a really big ego. About how insufferable the Niji bootlickers are. I can understand why a Niji fan would be upset at that news if they plan on going to that convention and seeing those appearances. Although I question why they're a Niji fan, but that's a different conversation. Here's what I want to focus on regarding this bootlicker's tweet. Because this bootlicker's tweet just comes off like gaslighting. The official announcement did not say it wouldn't be a safe environment. They said having them there wouldn't be a positive thing for the convention, essentially. The fact is, the VTuber's appearance would be through a screen. They wouldn't actually be, like, there doing a panel or anything, so... Exactly. VTubers don't... I mean, some VTuber, you have fucking badass Shy Lily. Say fuck it. And she does this, some VTuber, like, some convention where she shows up as a VTuber, but she goes to the VTuber convention as herself and just talk to fans and talk to people. I love that. Probably I'll do that. Maybe one day I'll be like, you know, it is what it is. What's up, G? You know, see people, like, face-to-face, -face, perhaps. But a lot of VTubers, they just, like, put on the same thing they do whenever they stream and they're just on the screen and they see a reflection, like, the camera of the screen on the comm. They don't have to do anything. They sit at home chilling out. So canceling that plan doesn't really like, I mean, like doing the, that kind of form of like day is not really going to be that inconvenient. They don't have to hire, like they don't have to rent a hotel room. have to directly go to a con like convention at all. They just fucking sit on a chair, activate the shit. And you know, they go live in the convention instead. I saw Shai Lil in Paris. She was so, so sweet. I have no idea how Shy Lily looks in real life. Hopefully one day I can say hi to her in Icon. I bet so. I, Shy Lily looks like an, a super great individual. Like you can see that hardworking, super kind, and she looks, she's probably super sweet. 
I, I think it's a, a VTuber that goes out of their comfort zone and be like, you know what? I'm going to meet my fans face to face. That is, that is impressive. I think that is impressive. Like I'm talking about those VTubers that don't do a face reveal, that don't show their face, that don't do any flesh streams. They are always a VTuber, always in character, but they go and meet their fans in real life. I think that is impressive. She's very short. You would terrify her. You think so? Don't worry. I'm getting smaller. I'm, I'm not eating as much to maintain my muscle mass. I'm losing, I'm lo losing a bit of muscles. Taking a while, but I'm losing muscles. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be more slim. Yeah. It's not a safety issue like that tweet's trying more to frame shredded. it as. The convention's just trying to avoid any negative experiences for the con goers and even the Niji Sanji VTubers who are scheduled. Now, I'm not saying it's the right or wrong move by the convention. You'll decide Bro, that. Bro, I one. watched this guy play this game and it looks so boring. All he does is move logs. Like, do you do anything else in this game? Like, what, what is this game? Why are you, what is this? your own i'm simply pointing out that that tweet's framing is pretty misleading but that's to be expected from a niji defender anyways that's the news condensed of course let me know what you think about this in the comments it is a pretty Just do nothing right now in the I, I i cannot do nothing when it comes to work out i need to work out if i don't work out i'm gonna tell you right now guys if i don't work out i'm gonna go insane uh, uh it's too many like whenever you get older there's just too many things and worries and stuff like and things to think about and I've used working out as the best escape goal to just turn off my brain and relax. Streaming has actually been the same thing. Streaming has helped me turn off my brain so well and be like, hey, what's up, boys? Just have a good time. So I, I'm like, you know, I'm at a really happy place now because I work out and I stream. Those two things combined, dude, my brain is turned off like 50, 50 60% of the week. It's beautiful. I love it. That was a good video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Niji Sanji is always as dumb as hell. They impress me with their stupidity and failure. Impressive. I wonder what they will do next. I wonder how they will impress me next time. Hi, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe. I'll post videos nearly every day. So if you want to watch any more reactions, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you there.